Hey guys, I decided I wanted to do a collective reading today. I couldn't figure out what sign I wanted to read for. I wasn't really getting called anywhere. So I think this is a good time, an opportune time to read for the collective. And typically with these readings, I don't tend to focus on love. You know, I look at larger themes, but I think I want to do a collective love reading. And I have no idea why, because relationships can be so specific. But with that all said, you know, take the parts that resonate <laughs> and leave the rest because this is a collective love reading and it's a little ambitious, I feel like. But hey, we're going to go for it because that's what I'm vibing. And yeah, I feel like it's needed. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do do sign specific readings. And if you're returning, then thank you so much for all your support. It means so much to me. It's so exciting to, you know, now that I've been here for a little bit of time, you know, and I have some subscribers that I see around often commenting, it's kind of cool to feel a sense of community start to build. The last uh, Gemini reading I did, it, it, it blew up, okay? Got the most views. And um, what was really important I think about that reading was the comments and you know some of the comments were heart-wrenching you know many of the comments were super supportive but most of all what I really liked about it is people started talking to one another you know helping one another out supporting one another sharing each other's stories and you know sometimes when we go through difficult things especially in love it can feel like we're really isolated, like the people around us don't understand or we don't want to tell them because they might say, I told you so. And so when we find some common ground and support with strangers online, it can actually feel pretty reassuring that there's other people out there we can connect with who are going through the same thing. So thank you so much for those of you who are supporting each other in the comments. Um, I love that. It's so nice to see. Okay, let's get into this reading and see what's going on for the collective. For the collective in love, I'm going to pull out a couple cards for your energy. Wow. What's that? Drama. <laughs> that was pretty dramatic. Okay. Drama, control, protection. All right. You are trying to protect yourself from some kind of dramatic, intense connection. Let's see the other energy, please. Now you can switch these energies, most definitely. And let's see the other energy. Spirit, thank you. We have detachment in reverse, so I feel like Somebody in this connection is having a hard time detaching emotionally from what's going on here. Venus and Aquarius over there. So let's see. For the other energy coming out, we have assertion, compassion, companionship. Interesting, I was going to say compassionship. Okay, so someone who's very compassionate. Uh, assertion, companionship, and generosity. Well, this is a lovely energy I feel like here. We're going to get dig a little bit deeper and see what's really going on. I do feel like there is somebody who acts pretty dramatic. Uh, and well, there's an energy here, a controlling, possessive type of energy that might say, you know, I'm, I'm only like this because I want to protect you. I care about you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Or I know best in this connection. And therefore, you know, you have to listen to me. And it comes, maybe they're trying to sell it as protection. But really what it is is control. Because on the inside, they feel a little bit out of control with the drama card. So they try to exert some kind of control, force over the other energy in the connection. I also feel like someone here is seeking some kind of emotional protection with detaching here. 
I'm trying to maintain a level of optimism here by emotionally detaching. So we have, um, you don't have to be in any of these signs, but I'll just call them out anyways. We have Sun and Aries, Moon and Libra. This is Saturn, I'm not gonna bother calling that one out, but that's Leo. Uh, Leo again, Virgo, and Moon and Aries. So that doesn't, you know, just if you're not there, don't worry, this could still resonate with you. But, just I kinda of wanna use this one. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's see what's going on here. Feel like somebody here in the connection is standing up for themselves with the assertion card and it might be throwing the other person off a little bit the other person might st be starting to like play the victim a little because they've never expected this other person to really assert their will because generally they come off as very compassionate and generous. But this energy over here, which just for the sake of my sanity, I'm gonna call it you, um, but if the other energy resonates more with, your, with who you are or what you're feeling, then you can switch it. But you are very generous, compassionate, and you, you know, I think I'm sensing a lot of cancer vibes here, but it's like, you finally decided you've had enough and you're going to stand up for yourself with the assertion here and once you stand up for yourself stand up for yourself it's like that's it you know there's no going back i've spent enough time in limbo i'm finally going to assert myself i'm going to stand up for myself some of you have already done this some of you are in the process some of you want to do this and the other person I feel like this is making them feel really out of control, okay? And they're either acting out completely, you know, like it's almost obscene for some of them, okay? This isn't going to be for every, every one of them, but for some of them, it's like so obscene. And they might be saying like, oh, I need protection from you or like, you know, you're crazy, et cetera, et cetera, okay? For others of you, they're detaching completely, but it's dramatic, you know, just because you're quiet, right? Just because someone goes quiet doesn't mean it's not drama. Silent treatment can definitely be drama as well as abuse, emotional abuse. But I am getting something here with this protection. It's coming in for you. It's their energy kind of, right? Like it's coming up for them. And I feel like for them, it's like this is a way to protect their ego, whatever they're doing. It's protection for their insecurity, you know, um, for their control issues. However they're acting, highly dramatic or highly detached or both, you know, this is something they're doing to protect their ego. But this protection card is also for you in terms of you asserting yourself now to protect yourself. And some of you are doing that by saying something and others of you are doing that by detaching completely. Okay, let's get um, the mutual energy here. Mutual energy. Spirit. knock there it's a little bit of hesitancy I feel like eight of wands yeah hesitancy to communicate hesit hesitancy to move forward and I feel like this is in any which way okay do I book it get out of here and never look back do I turn around give it one more shot and I feel like this other person is also wondering you know, how they can communicate with you, Six of Swords in the reverse, if you've totally closed the door on them, Ten of Cups, or if there's still a shot here, but they're not making any movement towards you, they're not taking any action, because you're starting to assert yourself, and that's scaring the other person, okay, because they feel like they've done some things that they don't want to get called out for. 
this person on this side, their energy. Your energy is the Eight of Swords, okay? So remember, reverse it if you need to, but this is you feeling trapped in your thoughts, you know, you're in a mental loop going over the same thing over and over again. I'm hearing Gemini, and this is a card of Gemini, but I'm hearing it going over and over again. What went wrong? You know, what if I did this? Why did they say that? What happened? What are they doing? What are they thinking? It's like an endless circle here, and you're wondering if they feel the same, okay? Are they feeling exactly how you are, or what? What's going on? Because I feel like this person, you can't communicate with them regardless if they're available or not, okay? Some of them, they've totally, like, ghosted, shut down, or just become really cold, you know? Or they're just, like, totally operating on a different frequency that isn't even appropriate to the situation so any kind of communication is just useless at this point okay let's see this person's energy please spirit the tower that's what i'm saying the tower and the six of swords now the tower did kind of come out like a little bit sideways reversed but i'm just going to look at it here as something that you know this is a tower moment, or there was a tower moment, but this coming out in the kind of the reverse sideways, it tells me that there's just a lot of emotional turmoil within this person, okay? They can't land on one thought, I feel like. They have racing thoughts, whether you know it or not. Even if they seem completely detached here, their mind is constantly going. They're trying to get control of themselves. Okay, but they find it really difficult to control themselves. This person knows, see how he's pointing over here at the tower? He knows he caused destruction. I'm just saying he because of the card. Okay, no genders in tarot. Okay, so he knows he caused the destruction. He's looking away from it. He doesn't want to face the reality of what's going on here. But it's only a matter of time, right, before he has to really come back down to earth and put his other foot down you can't stand like that forever so this person is trying to it's like lighting a match and then walking away and acting like you can't hear the explosion in the background you know but this person's gonna have to realize what they did and they do realize on a very subconscious level and this is a major arcana card, right? So when this comes out, this isn't just how they're feeling. This is karma. This is a karmic event for this person. And they know it. Deep down, spiritually, subconsciously, they know that what they did has created some karma for them. The choices they made. So whatever's going on, their control issues, their drama... You know, and they're, for some of you, it's like, oh, I just, you know, I'm just protective. I just, you know, don't talk to so-and-so. I don't want you to be friends with so-and-so because they're a bad influence or whatever. But I'm just trying to protect you when really they're just trying to control you. You know, all of that, you've pointed the finger. You've said, hey, look, I don't want you controlling my life. This is my life. I make decisions. I make the choices in my life. You don't get to tell me what to do, right? You started asserting yourself and this person's like, Oh shit, they're not going to listen to me anymore and I am controlling and I did sell it under the guise of protection and I am volatile and I know that this is going to come back to me in some way or another. But maybe if I just pretend it's not happening, if I just look away and ignore them, it will all go away. But it won't. It, it's not going to. The star in reverse. There's no way they're going to get away with this. Okay? Karmically. The lover's in reverse. Whew. This is going to impact their next connection. I heard... Well, I don't want to say that. Forget that. It's not going to be good for them. For some of them anyways. Okay, let's see. How does this person feel about the entire situation? This person feel six of wands in reverse. Like you were disrespected, okay? That 
this was a losing game, you know, I don't even think you saw it as a game, but you lost, you lost something. You feel defeated. Nobody heard what you had to say. For some of you, you're dealing with this kind of situation and you haven't told anybody about what you're going through. You're kind of taking it all in by yourself. You know, and trying to sort through the Eight of Swords all on your own. You know, because for many of you, you are the person that people go to to seek support. And so you feel uncomfortable being that person who needs support here. Many of you feel like there's no point in even saying anything anymore. This person's um, way of communicating, the high priestess in reverse, is totally out of, line, out of alignment. They don't understand or they refuse to or they won't. For some of you, they're keeping you kind of on, um, they're dangling the carrot, you know, like... Oh, so that if you keep trying to communicate, if you keep trying to tell them, hey, like, listen, this is actually what's happening. I actually want to work this out. You know, this is actually how I'm feeling. It's like they're open to hearing you so you can actually get the words out, but they're not listening. You know, they're not listening to what you're saying and they know that and they keep the door open so that you can keep exerting your energy trying to break through to them when they already know what you're, they already know, they already know what they did. Okay, let's see this person's feelings, please, Spirit. King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is what I'm saying. This person is very insecure. You might be dealing with an earth sign. Okay. This person has a lot of Mars energy, I feel like, the tower here, but. This person feels very insecure. They might not have a lot or they're constantly worried about, you know, their, their possessions or their financial security. I feel like this person is very concerned with their image when it comes to others. They like to be in control. Clearly, we have that card control, but I mean in other places in their life as well. This stems from some kind of childhood rejection here. Look at the card here. He's, these are the most detached lovers people i have ever seen okay and six of cups is a card about nostalgia and childhood and i feel like you know this person was rejected a lot as a child or they dealt with a mother who was completely emotionally empty emotionally bankrupt didn't have anything to offer okay for some of you this person only got love in the form of money There's a deep issue here with this person when it comes to understanding compassion and empathy. And this person doesn't realize, like you do, that if you listen to someone with an open mind, compassionately, empathetically, it doesn't mean that you're suddenly under their control it's just you're actually willing to take another point of view in an argument. And when you do that, right, when you open your mind and you listen to what the other person says and you still disagree with them, maybe you still think they're wrong, but you're actually giving them the space to express themselves, you learn something. You learn something about them you learn something about yourself and you learn the truth of the situation, whether you can deal with their emotions or not. Okay, this person doesn't really want to know your emotions, okay, because all that matters is theirs. They like your energy, definitely. They like to control your energy, but they cannot understand your emotions. What are your desires here? What are your desires? Princess of Wands in reverse. Well, see, with the world, you want this to be over. No more messages, no more 
bad news. Okay, that I heard bad news. Okay, some of you have like, uh, you're hearing things about this person through other people. Four of swords in reverse and you can't get any rest. Your desires are really to just be done and over with this energy. But you're still finding yourself stuck thinking about it. Because you gave so much of yourself here. Moon and Libra. Emotionally, you really want things to balance out. I do believe you want it to end. But you want it to end fairly. You want it to balance out. Okay, because this energy right now is intense. And it's affecting you. You can feel it. You're probably really intuitive and empathic. You're generous. And you're giving kind of your energy. You're receiving the energy. You can feel it. Okay? Many of you want to tell this person, leave me alone energetically or actually leave me alone. I don't want any of your stuff. But you're not doing that. Or you are, but it's not getting through. Nine of Swords are in reverse. Okay, let's see. What's this person's desire, Spirit? Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm going to clarify that. I'm going to clarify that. Independence and flattery. This is a codependent kind of person, okay? No matter how they're acting, no matter, you know, really, if, if they're detached or not, it doesn't matter. I saw principle and excitement. Okay, the, the way they act is for attention. They seek someone's attention because they were refused that at some point in their life. They try to hold all that in. They try to control things. With the seven of swords in reverse for their desires and independence and flattery, it's like they know at some level that they're lying to themselves and they're lying to others. But they know that without your admiration, without your generosity, without your attention, they feel completely codependent. And that could be on anything, a substance, a shopping addiction, whatever, a family member, a friend, whatever. They, they need something, okay? You offer them a sense of independence because they control you, or at least they feel they have controlled you in the past at some point. And this person's having a realization here with the tower in reverse that that's a false sense of control. Many of them already knew that. But for some of them, it's a realization. It's an epiphany like, wow, I am controlling. I'm not protective. I'm not, you know, I'm actually a controlling person. Oh, wowza. Okay. Actions you plan on taking. We have the Princess of Pentacles in reverse with the Chariot in reverse. Nothing. Okay, You're not, you put a halt to this. You don't want to learn more about the dynamics of the relationship with them. I mean, maybe you want to learn about it on your own, but you don't want to be inter learning anything from them. You're not willing to give an apology, receive an apology, nothing. Okay, you're checking out. You're asserting yourself. You're stepping into your power. And you're putting complete halt to this. I heard, as you should. What is this person's... What does this person plan to do? What are their actions? Desired actions. The fool in reverse. Something risky. They don't want to change. You know, they don't know how to change, I feel like. A little more for what this person wants to do. The sun in reverse with the queen of wands in reverse.
for some of you, this person wants to publicly embarrass someone. Okay, that's not going to be for all of you. But there's some, you know, it's like a very childish, very childish energy where it's like, think about a, a kid, right? It's like, that. that's my toy. You're taking away my toy. I'm going to throw a tantra tan temper tantrum in the middle of like the shopping mall. And everybody's going to see what a bad parent you are. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here for their desired actions. For others of you, they just want to demonize you in their mind, okay? Like the fool in reverse. Because they can't handle having a new perspective. I'm telling you, if they fully understand and grasp what was going on here with them and the way they treated you, the tower would be up in the upright and this person psychologically may not be able to handle it. Okay, they're controlling their emotions as best as they can because they are wildly out of control. Let's look at the advice, Spirit. Let's look at the advice. Four of Swords in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups. No matter how, no matter how much you are exhausted, okay, by thinking about this, do not let this person wear you down. Even in your healing process, you have to keep going, you have to stay strong. You're this dragon here. Okay, you have dragon energy. Remember that, dragon energy. I'm hearing dragon energy. Okay, maybe that's a mantra you want to say to yourself. Do not let this person wear you down. Don't let the healing process wear you down. Do not give in, even though it's exhausting. Okay, because if you do, you're just giving to something that's not going anywhere. And all it's going to do is make you feel worse about yourself, give you low self-esteem. Some of you would really do well to speak to someone, okay, like a professional counselor or something like that, a good friend, to work out these conflicts and bring you a sense of justice in your mind. Some of you need somebody to validate your experience. Now, I know we don't, as you know, people, healers and stuff like that, we don't generally advocate for someone outside of you to validate you you know you should always validate yourself but when you're going through something like this okay and there's going to be different uh, like extremes for different people different levels degrees on which this is playing out okay sad situation here full of regrets sometimes you need somebody another human being who has a heart who is empathetic who is compassionate who does genuinely want to help you to look, you, to look at you in the face and tell you that what you're feeling is valid, okay? That you have every right to feel how you're feeling. For someone to see you for who you are and listen to you the way this person is not listening to you. Your conflicts, your mental conflicts, and potentially this is spilling out into other areas of your life where you feel like you're getting into some kind of just like tense energy. They're symptomatic, okay? They're not, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, that's what I'm saying is they're symptomatic of this unhappiness, nine of cups in reverse. Anybody would feel this way in this situation. And so I heard being with someone, interesting, being with someone in the presence. I'm, I'm like, it's like you need to be in the physical presence of somebody, anybody who has your best interest at heart, okay? Because they will show you, look at this vision here, they will show you that all this internal conflict you're feeling is valid, it's justified, and you did what you had to do 
I heard to outwit, to outwit, to out, out, out survive. Interesting, out survive this person. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is here. This was a difficult one. Let's see what the outcome is here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get a couple more here. It's gonna take some time. You might feel like you you missed out on things, you've lost opportunities. Death. Death, the lovers, eight of cups. Look, okay? Whatever your vision was here for the past, it's transforming. Your sense of security, many of you maybe liked a sense of feeling protected by someone, okay? But this is not protection, this is control. So you're changing your values, okay? You're changing what that looks like to you. It's transforming. You're seeing, you know, the truth of your own feelings towards somebody who acts like this and where your compassionate ends. Where do you draw the line? Where does your generosity end? Where do you draw the line? You've decided, okay? You're asserting yourself. Don't forget that. No matter how hard this is for you, you are asserting yourself. That means you're in power. You're taking your power back. You're making the decisions on what you do. No one else. You're walking away from this. Even though it hurts like hell, it's confusing. The thoughts might not stop for some of you. Okay? It's a process. It's a process. It's going to take some time. The lovers but it's gonna make you a stronger lover okay a stronger person that when you do meet the person okay who deserves you you're gonna be very wise and very strong and they're gonna look at you like this okay with absolute admiration for what you've been through they're going to have so much respect for you. Yin and yang up here. Complete balance. This is what you're ultimately moving towards. Some of us have an easy love story in life, and some of us don't. But just because we've been through things doesn't mean we don't deserve this. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.